No, I'm saying we didn't go to the moon because I can literally prove it a million ways. You know, it's like, name one other time we've explored, any human being has explored someplace exciting and other countries didn't follow. Name one other time technology went in reverse and got more expensive to produce. Name one other time that the greatest moment in human history was deleted to save tapes by an organization that gets $24 billion a year. The moon rocks have traces of uranium isotopes and brass that only occur, they're man-made from Earth. Neil Armstrong, uh, his body language and his verbal demeanor was distancing himself from all actions when he was on the moon and they wouldn't let him give another interview for 30 years. The, the rock he gave Holland was a piece of petrified wood. Um, the, I don't even have to touch the Van Allen belt. And dude, look at how Bush, Clinton, Obama, they all said we're going back to the moon. Gearing up, gearing up, bailed. Well, what about private? Uh, Elon Musk said he's going to the moon, bailed. Now he's going to Mars. Oh, well, there's nothing on the moon. Of course there is. There's, there's a, a trillion dollar tourism business to go to the moon. It would be the best place to study Earth. There's no atmosphere. You can study the stars all day long. You can study how gravity affects your... We have bases on Antarctica and the North Pole and Greenland and everywhere, but for some reason, we have none on the moon. I'm on people being like, one day we will get people best low Earth orbit. It's like, we did, right? You forget that... We Werner von Braun said that we would require a rocket ship the size of the Empire State Building to go to the moon. No other country has ever gone. None of it makes sense. It's provable. They deleted one metric ton of telemetry data. And then people go, well, it's, it's, it's unusable tapes. They claim they reused the tapes. According to the New York Times, NASA said they had to reuse the tapes because they were facing budgetary problems. Well, uh, uh, no, you're in cognitive dissonance. You have just been trapped in cognitive dissonance. If, if your argument about reusing the tapes just immediately got shot down and now you're trying to get another one, you're not open to a new argument. Neil Armstrong, <laughs> like, and here's the biggest one by far, because people could say, Big Bear, you're not an expert of the Van Allen, but that's why I don't even touch those things. I am an expert at mass communication. I minored in it in college. I understand television production. I was on PSTV in Plattsburgh State University. I get it. I understand not only am I smart enough to figure out the shit, but just to let you know, I, I know what it, it is. The amount of electricity it takes to broadcast a live television broadcast is not remotely possible from any of the specs from the moon. Add on to that, you're, you're flying through space you're going through 237,000 miles of a vacuum through a radiation belt, like a horrific radiation belt going to the earth in the late 1960s and people can hear you talk without enough delay to make it. They did a four second delay because the retards didn't realize it would have been more like a 30 second delay. It's all a lie. And of course I want to believe it. I used to want to be an astronaut. I used to want to be a paleontologist. And I'm having a hard time with macroevolution. I wanted to be a comedian in clubs. I'm not allowed anymore because I don't think children are trans. Life has a bunch of problems in it. Now the flat earth people are acting as if it's the NASA deception. Where it's that obvious. Where it's like, dude, it's flat, bro. There's no curve. Look around. It's like... I will come to that conclusion if it's true. I will come to that conclusion if it's true. I will come to that conclusion if it's true. It's true. The, like, this is what happened with the space uh, landing hoax. Every fucking place I looked revealed more and more of the hoax. Everywhere. The shadows, them trying to, like, recreate the shadows. Like, all this stuff that makes for bad Arguments. Uh, Scott Adams does a good job of explaining this. The laundry list is a bad uh, argument. Where if I talked about the reflections or shadows or any of this stuff, people have quick responses to that. My arguments are home run, bullet to the head arguments. 
We went there and no country followed. We didn't set up bases there. We never went back. We have no scientists up there. It's the one time in human history that's the technology, we lost the technology and it's too painful to recreate. That was one of the most senior astronauts who said that. That wasn't Breitbart. Uh, the moon rocks contain trace elements that only exist on Earth. Neil Armstrong gave Holland a piece of wood. And there is no chance you can broadcast live television from that distance with that amount of power now, let alone in the late 60s. It's all bullshit. And every stone you open, you realize it never happened. And then people say, well, wouldn't it be cheaper to... They wanted to go to the moon. John Kennedy ran his mouth in 62 and said, we, I choose the moon. He's on meth. You know, and so they they tried to figure it out, tried to figure it out. They realized they couldn't, that we're in a cold war. Our country's falling apart. We're in an unwinnable war getting beat by a bunch of jungle fucking Asians with no technology. People are, Martin Luther King Jr. is getting shot. Bobby Kennedy, JFK. People are getting dropping, dropping, dropping. You know, the country is, there's bombings. There's riots. You think now is bad? Dude, it was bad. Bad. There's a serious communist threat in America. You got Jane Fonda straddling a fucking giant gun over in Hanoi. We had to boost morale. We had to win the Cold War. We thought Russia was about to get there. It, it isn't this like heart of darkness evil that motivated it. Now it is. Now they use it as a tool of deception because they had to commit to the lie. When you tell a lie, you have to tell millions more lies to keep that lie alive. I'm convinced that's what happened to Hillary Clinton. In college, she probably thought she was going to make the world a better place. Now she has a body count longer than fucking Colombian drug cartels. It's like, it made sense to lie. I get it. At this point, it is a fucking movie production that they're just shitting it out just to, so that no one can admit the lie. It was just like how communism doesn't work as an economic system. You have Mao Zedong, Stalin. These people are letting millions and millions of people starve to death with a great leap forward to prop up a lie because people are dying. They were taking the wheat and pushing it together and putting children on the wheat like they have so much fucking food that they can prop humans up on it. And then as soon as the camera stopped rolling, they, they hid the fucking skeletons. That's what this is. That when you make a lie, you put your fucking chips in and it's not true, you're about to start lying until your entire society collapses. And you know I'm right. And you keep, like, I've, I've had close friends. People be like, well, what did it hurt? You know, it's good morale. It's good. What did it hurt? The entire society is now based on a lie. Astronauts are priests. Elon Musk shooting fucking... Uh, cars through the, this rover lander. None of it's real. It's all bullshit, dude. And it's like, what, what, what's the hurt and why? It also creates cognitive dissonance amongst the population so that they get lied to and they don't care. That's the whole problem. Once you no longer trust your instincts, once you accept wizardry, once your instincts say something doesn't add up about this and then someone says, but just be quiet. And you go, okay. Then you can no longer figure out what's true and false and you become cattle. That's why it fucking matters. That's why it matters. And you guys get it. You know it. There's still 5,000 fucking people here. 